Now, firefighters have tonight voted in favour of a UK-wide strike in a dispute over pay. The Fire Brigade Union says nearly 90% of its members who took part in their ballot supported the action. Well, John McKenzie is the union's Scottish secretary. He's in our Edinburgh newsroom for us tonight. Evening to you. Good evening, Gary. Why have your members, do you believe, voted so overwhelmingly for this? So I think there's a couple of main reasons for that. I mean, the backdrop to this is that our members' pay has been systematically eroded for 12 years now since the Lib Dem Tory government came in in 2010. Our members' pay has been eroded by £4,000 over that period of time. And ultimately what they've been offered this year is a further significant real terms pay cut. Well, they've been offered 5%, which has been rejected. What sort of figure would be acceptable, do you believe? So we've been really clear from the start of this. Ultimately, we will put improved offers to our members and it will be our members who ultimately decide what the right figure is. But look, the way our members are looking at this is twofold. One, the offer on the table just now, which would be a further real terms pay cut, a significant further real terms pay cut. And two, our members having suffered a significant erosion of their pay for over a decade now. And that can't be allowed to continue. So it would need to be more than 10% for it not to be a pay cut given the current rate of inflation? Again, it will be our members who make that decision. But what we have had in front of us is we had a 2% offer in the summer. A 2% offer when inflation was almost at double digits. Our members saw that as nothing short of insulting. It took three months for the employers to make an improved offer when they rejected that. We rejected that pay offer, now approaching almost three months ago, and we've had no improved offer from the employers. And Look, our members voted overwhelmingly for strike action today. 88% of them voted for strike action. And what we've said is we've shown again We've been negotiating with employers for eight months now and we've said we'll be patient again. We will wait a meeting with employers on the 8th of February. That is their ability. That is the ability of government and it is the ability of the national employers to make an improved pay offer. Our members don't want to take strike action. It's not what our members joined the job to do, but they can't continually see their pay eroded year on year. But if you don't get that improved pay offer, um, how quickly after that deadline could we see strikes? So look, there's a minimum period of time we need to give, as, as, as all unions do. So you're looking towards the end of February, the lightliest, earliest dates. As we've said, we've shown patience. Our members have shown patience again. The 8th of February, we, there is the ability for the employers to make this good, to roll back from this. But ultimately, we're probably looking at the end of February. And what happens in the event of a strike in terms of public safety? The government say that the public will be concerned about this. And that's probably true, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's understandable that the public would be concerned. Our members are concerned. Withdrawing their labour is something that they do not take lightly. But there's a couple of points to this. So the first one is, firefighter numbers have been eroded throughout the UK by 11,500 since 2010, in Scotland by 1,100. Now, and I would ask this question. As reluctant as our members are to take strike action, as seriously as they understand the potential consequences of that, what has a greater impact on public safety? 11,500 firefighters' job cuts in the last 13 years or firefighters taking industrial action over a limited period of time? I think the general public and certainly our members are very clear on that. We know, of course, it's a dangerous job too and that's been highlighted with the death of uh, Barry Martin following that fire at Jenner's in Edinburgh. Um, what is your understanding of the situation there as regards the uh, ongoing investigation? No, look, it, it's an absolutely devastating outcome and, you know, it, it, it just shows, the, you know, the potential risks of, of the work that our members do. And our members' hearts go out to Barry's friends and family. It is a devastating time for them. Look, in terms of the, any investigation into it, it is far too early to say. We have to follow the right process. The important thing is that the right answers are found. Um, but uh, it's a devastating set of circumstances for Barry's family and friends. John McKenzie from the Fire Brigade Union. Thank you for your time on the programme tonight. Thank you.